Hello, Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome in. I'm going to do a um, general reading for the collective of Earth signs, so it may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in, it could have a message for you. Today's topic is, or this week's topic is, um, twin flames and separation. And so that all that means for you is you need to be aware of uh, twin flame energy. You are not in union with it right now. You're in separation. The other person doesn't have to be aware. So that's the first thing, but you are. Okay. So I'm going to look at, I'm using the energy oracle. I'm going to look at your, their energy, your energy, and then I will do um, a spread. I haven't, I don't think I've done it on the channel. Um, so it's new. And then I'll go into more extended readings. But just so you know, even though I'm doing this uh, for November 2019, 20th, 21st, um, it's timeless. So whenever you come upon it, if the message speaks to you, it's yours. It doesn't matter. But what's coming in may be influenced by the fact that we're about to see Mercury station direct on the 20th thank goodness, and the end of Scorpio season and shift into Sagittarian season um, on the 21st, 22nd of November. So the energies are shifting. We're moving out of the depths of the deep, dark res reservoir that is Scorpio into lighter, more action-oriented, adventurous spirit of Sagittarius. Um, so I'm excited about that. I like it. I, I'm feeling it already. I'm already feeling like I'm sort of benefiting from the shift of energy. Yay me. And I hope that you're feeling the same. Nevertheless, thank you for those of you who have supported the channel with um, your subscriptions, with your subscribes, your likes, um, some comments you've made. I've received a couple emails, so that's been nice. Any bookings that you've um, placed, I really appreciate it. So I just want to you know, continue to thank the people that are supporting the channel. And if you're new to the channel, give it a look, see, um, you can even go through the playlist and see if there's something that pops out at you and get a better feel for my style and the messages I'm here to deliver. And for those of you that have been watching for a little while, but haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. It would mean a lot to me. And that's the only way I'm going to get this message out to other people. Okay. You can't keep me all to yourself. All right. Let's see. The energy for the other person is Caring connections in reverse. It came out in reverse. So I will read that. Oh, wow. Earth sign. One in four makes it's card number 14. One in four makes five. It's a period of change. Caring connections upside down. And your energy is. Oh, wow. 42. That's six is stability. Woman holding a coin and it came out in reverse. So there might be shifts coming for you with regard to stability. Earth sign. Don't panic yet. We'll take a look at it. That's never what an earth sign wants to hear. <laughs> I know because I'm one. But let's just go ahead and look at the, the energy for the other person you're dealing with uh, that you're in separation from. It says that this card reverse signals a break in communication or a parting of the ways for two people. Whether romantic, social, or business, the present connection seems to be at or close to an end. If this is the case, consider what healthy action needs to be taken to move on. As difficult as parting may be, it can often lead to bigger and better things. Keep in mind both the logistical and emotional aspects of leaving this connection behind. Make plans. Vent your feelings. Always remember with every ending, a new beginning is at hand. So here's what I'm saying about this since it came out in reverse. You know if you're... If you're already separated from this person, then it's not talking about you. It's talking about someone else they're with. Get it? This isn't about a connection in union that's on the skids. This is about a connection that's in separation. That's who I'm channeling information for. So I get the impression they're about to exit a connection that they're in that isn't as fulfilling, that may be more karmic in nature. In other words, the lessons that they had to learn from this person have been learned and it's time to find their way out and move on. So if they're living with this person, the logistical aspects would be about where am I going to live? Where am I going to go? Right? And the emotional aspects is making peace with it all. Um, 
you got 42 here. Your energy earth sign is <sighs> making me nervous. Okay, so woman holding a coin. There we go. And it came out in reverse. This card reverse could indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or a health issue. All right. It's good to know. It could also reveal a lack of value for yourself and your own life. Oh my gosh, that just hit hard. Pointing to someone else when this card comes in reverse, it shows a woman who may be reducing your own money or simply may not have your best interests in mind regarding your financial affairs. It could also be someone who devalues or criticizes you or causes you to doubt your own value. It could even be that the harmful energies of a woman from the past are still influencing you today. Be aware that you don't have to let anyone else's negative vibration influence you at any time, release any toxic connection, and know that you are free to define and value yourself no matter what. Oh, wow. So some energy is lingering. Um, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was I thought it was going to be about your stability, but it's really it's about uncertainty, a lack of value for yourself. Um, but it, it because it was in reverse, it it could indicate another person who doesn't have your best interest at heart, or harmful energies from a woman in the past that are still influencing you today. You gotta let go of that energy. Ugh. Either way, it doesn't feel good, right? Okay. So now I'm doing a different spread, and I'm sure those energies will pop up in the reading going forward. So let's just take a look at what is um, underneath. Wishing, wishful, wish, wishes come true. Um, hope, faith, trust in the universe. It's wishing upon a star. That's Aquarian energy. Okay, so this is you, two of pentacles. Uh, well, yeah, pentacle energy. Weighing your options. They're coming in with transformation, death card, the connection here. Yeah, eight of swords all tied up. You don't know what to do, but you planted the seeds and you're being patient here. How this pe person feels about you, the divine feminine. They know, they know. How you feel about them queen of cups energy this is um you're coming at them with an open heart you're coming at them with uh you 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 are wanting them to be receptive emotionally receptive like the keeper of your heart right queen of cups often makes me think of queen of hearts okay so we did that much and now we've got um this is the advice. This is Knight of Wands. It seems odd as advice, but uh, we'll go ahead and clarify it. I think it means take action. I think it's it's telling you, um, Earth sign, that you're going to have to take some action here. You can't stay in this juggling, juggling the... Uh, Realities on the ground much longer. You cannot stay in that energy. It's not serving you. You're going to eventually have to get off the block. That's just the way I'm feeling it when I look at the cards as they show up right now. So I'm going to do some clarifying here and make sure that <clears throat> we know what's going on. So I want to first know about the star. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Underneath energy of this connection, of this reading, is a wish, hope, faith, prayer that the Ace of Cups is on its way. Hope, faith, trust. <clears throat> Wishing on a star for that cup of love, a new opportunity at love. It could be a new opportunity at love within this connection since you're in separation, and that's why you're here watching this. So that's how I'm feeling it. Let's see, why is the Two of Pentacles? Why are you showing up as the Two of Pentacles? Earth sign. Do 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> yeah. Is you're you're waiting for that big offer. You're you are like, I'm just gonna keep these balls in the air until one of them lands in my lap. I love this. This is um such beautiful energy. It's it's like a a, a massive offer. It's uh it's gifted to you, it's divinely gifted to you, and that is what why you're in this juggling energy. It's like you're biding time. You are in decision-making mode. Twos are about choices and decisions with regard to stability. And here's what you're trying to weigh is where is my stability? I want the mother load. I want, I want it big. Death, of course, is Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. We are just ending Scorpio season, but it feels more that this person's in transition. They're going through a transformation right now. What is that about? Three of Cups. I think, okay, they may be transforming their way out of a out of a third party situation. Um, yeah, I. They're almost at the end. <clears throat> they're they're trans they're trans they're in a phase of transformation. Earth sign, uh, out of a three of cups energy. Out of this, either they're partier and you know the more the merrier, and they couldn't ever settle on one person, so they had to have two. Party of three, please. Yeah, no, they're transforming out of that. Transformation's taking place. And they're almost at the end of a cycle. Nine of wands. They're battle worn over it. There may have been some fallout. I see that because there's this eight of swords energy here in the connection. So there's some measure of stuck energy here in this connection. Even though you're being patient, um, What's the Eight of Swords about? Yeah. This, this, both of you are out in the cold. You do, not, you do not know your way forward because you don't know what's going on with each other. You can't access the warmth of the connection. One more, please. So decisions are, yeah, you ha decisions are being made right now. This person's transforming out of a three-party energy. They're almost at the end of that cycle in the connection here you you're like i i'm holding out for a big offer that's what you want you want a big offer this connection's been sort of on ice here because it, you've been stuck energy indecisive tied up tied up in knots not knowing what way to go this is all in your head this is all mental energy but it stems from like a lot of it is because you don't know what the other person's doing. There's there's this five of pentacles where you're on the outside looking in, but you can't even see in. You don't know the entry point to access the warmth. You got to pick a path. This is at a, you're you're now like standing. The connection is standing right there. The whole world is your oyster, and as as a connection as a twin flame connection you have to choose a path that's a path together or a path separate that's the energy i'm feeling that's what i think the decision is about why is the empress here there's been some conflict nine of cups Ten of Wands. Oh, wow. All right. So this is how they feel about you. They feel that you're loving, you're nurturing, you're, um, you are divine feminine incarnate, right? You're, you're in real life. You, they perceive you in the energy of the twin as divine fem feminine. They may not know what that means. There's conflict about it, right? So they're kind of conflicted. Or there's been conflict with regard to wish fulfillment. There's, there's a struggle here. There's a battle here. 
with regard to getting their wish fulfilled of coming to the Empress, coming to Divine Feminine, but they're about to lay that burden down. And I say that because we have the Nine of Wands up here with transition, where I said they're end, almost at the end of a cycle. Well, the Ten is the end of the cycle. There's some conflict they're still dealing with, but... Once they pass through that, happiness will be theirs. They'll be able to lay the burden down. It almost is coming through as a message to you in an odd way. Queen of Cups. You feel there, Queen of Cups. What's Queen of Cups energy about? Oof. Take a leap of faith. Yes. You're open this is this how you feel you feel open to receive their love you feel open to giving them your love you feel open to coming back together taping taking a leap of faith in the connection and i see that the dynamic right now because it doesn't feel like a challenge uh, this this card here is either challenges or uh, the dynamic. I feel it's a dynamic is one of patience. You've planted the seeds. You know you belong to each other on some level. I'm going to take all three. But you're confused. There's a lot of uh, choices here. Um, it may even be a, a sense of emotional overwhelm, a seven- yeah, the Seven of Cups can be emotional overwhelm, so you're you're moving really slow. Um, even though seeds have been planted and you're being patient, it's coming together slowly, but clarity is coming in. Some massive um, gift of enlightenment is coming in for the connection, for both of you to receive. So I, I say that the dynamic of you both being patient right now is really serving you. It's serving you. There is a choice to be made. There is a path. This, this connection has options. There's, you know, two paths lie, lay before me and I chose the one less traveled by. I'm butchering that quote, but you get the gist. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Advice is Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, Knight of Wands, one more, Priestess. Whoo! So, we know you're not talking because we got Queen of, we got High Priestess here. As advice, there's like this, um, a hint toward taking action, swift, fast action. Um, Knight of Wands is often the swashbuckler right? Just comes in fast and sweeps you off your feet kind of energy. But this is coming in the advice phase. So I feel like the advice is being that it's clarified by three other court cards. The Knight of Wands comes back again. So spirit is doubling down on this. I feel like there's a king, the king of pentacles, the king of swords. The advice may be that you, Earth sign, are trying to decide between two people. Another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know? So this other person could, could either be an Earth sign or an Air sign or have that prominently in their chart, maybe as their rising sign, if not their sun sign. Do you see what I'm saying? It almost feels like the, the advice is move toward, move toward your passion. Knight of Wands, move toward your passion. And it's showing you the options. So it's either someone who's an earth sign or who's very grounded and stable, financially stable and emotionally stable. They're open, they're generous, they're kind, they're patient. Or are you dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone who is highly intelligent, who uses reason and logic and who... Um, who, who calls it like he sees it. I'm saying he because they're kings. And then we get the knight of wands comes back in. So it's knight of wands, the two kings, and the knight of wands again. So I almost feel like the advice is, yeah, make your choice. 
you're up here juggling the realities you want a big ass offer and you're being told the advice is you have to make a choice so i almost feel like you've got someone else um that is in the running for your heart and the final word of advice is you know you know which one use your intuition the answer you you've got a gut check on it you just heard how i read the whole thing and you're kind of like yeah i know what i want and i'm not seeing a whole lot of forward motion here by the other person you know in the connection it's moving slowly for them they're in a whole phase of transformation out of some other cycle they're in they're almost there they're about to lay the burden down i'm not saying they don't want you or desire you or that they don't see you correctly i think they do i just don't see a lot of action on their part and i do think that the advice is about action but i almost feel like whoever gets there first winner winner chicken dinner and you probably already know you're not communicating on purpose that's by design earth sign stay in your high high priestess power stay in that energy um that is some high powered manifesting energy spiritual connection to your higher you know your guides your spiritual team that is what this is about i think the choice is yours to make that's the advice choice is yours to make and i think that in both cases here with both of these cards being in reversed being in reverse you know reverse energy with you receiving woman holding a coin in reverse i feel like don't let anybody threaten your stability don't let any negative energy which i feel is what this three of cups energy is even though it's usually a card of joy and it comes out on the death card i feel like what are they transitioning from they're either a party person or they've played multiple partners they did musical chairs it, it, while you were in connection um left you on the outside looking in and now <clears throat> the choice is yours to make choice is yours to make remember this is what you want that's what you're choosing for it's high vibration we've got two kings here it's high vibration so you really can't go wrong you just have to make the choice um in the extended which the link is below i'm going to look at message from you to them you to this other person a message from the other person to you blocks to love or blocks in this connection that are in the way actions to take with regard to the blocks and then the outcome card and if there's going to be any timing uh that would appear would appear in the outcome all right we got it uh i feel really good about this the choice is yours to make I hope this helped you come upon your decision, which I think you already know, and I'll see you on the uh, other side for the extended or on the next video. Thanks so much, Earth Sign. Bye-bye.